name is Kelly Ann and I'm a nurse here at MUSC in the Surgical Trauma ICU. And I'm going to be demonstrating the beach chair position in the ICU patient. First we're going to look at the bed and then we're going to talk about our study. To obtain the position, what we're going to do is press the key button and then we're going to hold down the chair position and the bed will automatically obtain the position. You'll notice when it's done, it will actually make a beeping sound to say that it's done. The last thing the bed does, after it raises the head up to 70 degrees, it'll put the feet down to 75, and then it'll raise up the foot of the bed to give the patient support, and it'll beep to let us know we've obtained the position. The patient is very comfortable while they're in this position. Sometimes you need to remove the pillow to make them more comfortable for their head. There's our beep. While we're here at MUSC, we've made a protocol for nurses and doctors to follow to let us know what are safest for our patients to get up. First, we're going to have in each of the rooms that's going to list us the vital signs to let us know the patients are able to go into the beach chair. It's also going to go into a little guideline to let us know that while the patient's sitting up, they're safe based on their vital signs. And we're also listing what patients are contraindicated to get into the beach chair position based on pathological or physiological standards. For our study that we're going to be doing in our STICU, MICU, and NSICU, we're going to be looking at patients that are on the ventilator and are sedated and what are the outcomes of the beach chair position. And this is the form that all the nurses and respiratory therapies, therapists will be working on. On the left hand side is pretty much the nursing uh, issues and the right hand side are the things the respiratory therapy are going to be filling out. What we're going to do is four times a day our patients are going to be getting into the beach chair position for an hour at a time. Documenting before and after the vital signs and the ventilatory settings. Right before they go into the beach chair and right before we take them out. After about six months of collecting data we'll be putting this information together to be able to show our, our outcomes for pulmonary standpoint and the beach chair position. Thank you so much.